and welcome to this new feature release by us at Zenlo. So today announcing two-factor authentication, that's MFA and 2FA for admins. So let me talk about uh, what's available to you now. So we have uh, security for your admin accounts paramount to us. So we have prioritized multi-factor authentication for your sites. So two-factor authentication, that's TFA and 2FA, is an extra layer of security that adds to your admin account. And it requires not only a password and username, but also an extra piece of information in order to log in. The goal of 2FA is to make it harder for potential intruders to gain access and steal your personal data or identity. So when you log into Zenla as admin, you have two options to log into your account with 2FA, either by using a code from an authentication app or alternatively via a magic link sent to your email. So note 2FA is available only for admins, that's site admins, and instructors support or assistant roles of the account can enable this feature. So this is not meant for students, okay? So let me just go through some of the key features of this uh, two-factor authentication. So you can enable two-factor authentication from your profile and in the security tab. Configure the authentication, generates a QR code. On your mobile, install Google Authenticator app from Google Play or Apple App Store. From the authentication app, scan the QR code. This will complete the MFA configuration. Every time you log in, to an admin from your site or your new Zenla login, you'll be asked to enter the OTP from your authentication app. You also have the alternative option on login forms to login via magic link sent to your email too. So you can also have a magic link sent to your email address that you can also use to automatically log yourself in. Remember, this is to make it much harder for people to gain access to those important roles within your site. So I want to make a note now. Uh, for now, you would need to enable two-factor authentication admin accounts to use it. But we plan to make this mandatory soon to ensure top level security for your admin accounts. OK, so we're going to make it mandatory, but at the moment, you're going to need to go into your profile and security and activate the two factor authentication, which you'll be able to do now. So let's just jump in and I'm just going to show you where that is inside your account. OK, so if you are logged in as master admin or an instructor or support role, uh, you can turn on the two part authentication. Just need to come into your settings on the top right hand corner for your profile. You just need to then go into your account. So if I go to my account now, you're going to see that there is a tab along the top right here saying security and inside here we can enable two factor authentication at the moment you can see that it's off so we're saying here for increased security we recommend configure mfa to help protect your zenla account two factor authentication requires admin users to type a unique authentication code from an approved authentication device when they sign in to Zenla admin. So in this case, we're going to use Google Authenticator. However, let's just start the process by clicking enable two-factor authentication. So this is gonna come up with enter your account password for your admin account. We're gonna do that now. And once I enter this, I can click next. Now this is going to tell us the next step, which is to install Google Authenticator on your mobile device. Use scan a QR code option on the authenticated app 
to scan the QR code you see on the screen. This is your secure QR code that you have for this account. If you have trouble scanning the QR code, you can manually enter the setup keys that are provided down here. After scanning the QR code, click Next. So I'm going to make sure on my device that I have the Google Authenticator installed on my phone. You can do this through App Store or Google Play. So you can type Google Authenticator app into your phone and it should bring up the options on Google Play or Apple Play down here to be able to install it. So just do that on your mobile install the app and once it's installed you'll be able to authenticate you can see here google authenticator so let's now install the app i'm going to go to the app store and search for google authenticator now do make sure that you're using the google authenticator and you will see it come up on here any second now and there it is there and i'm going to install that now that has installed, I have the Google Authenticator on my iPhone ready for verification from the website. As you can see here, you can choose the QR code or the key. Okay, so from my phone now, I'm going to scan the QR code. So we're going to allow it to scan this code. It's now given me a number six seven eight five three i'm going to click next and it's going to ask me to enter this six digit number six seven oh eight five three and then i'm going to click finish and now you can see that two-factor authentication is turned on let's now exit out of the screen well, I'll exit out of the app as well. And now when I come to sign in and use my password, and click login, it's now going to ask me for a six digit code from the authenticator, which I can bring up here. You'll notice it automatically comes up and 302 this time. So clicking Submit will now give me access into my site as admin. Of course, this works for support roles as well as general admin as well. And you'll notice that on the app, the OTP will change. Uh, it gives you about a minute before it changes each time, but you can close the app up. And next time you open to log in, you can just open the app back up to produce your unique number for your authentication into the site. Also, you have the ability to send a magic link to yourself. So once you start the login process by putting your username and your password, you can hit login and you're going to see at the bottom of the two-factor authentication, a sign in with one click link. Now, all you need to do is click here to send an email with the link. This link is a magic link and will allow you into the admin straight away. Let's click, click here. Well, you'll see we have an email that has been sent to us. So we're just going to locate that email and that will give us a link that will directly take us into the site admin. With this magic link, you can directly access your admin. Check your email, click the link in the email and you will be taken straight into the admin of your site at whatever level you are. So the super admin, normal admin, and of course, support roles.